Hello, and welcome to the AlphaCam 2020 What's New videos. In this short video, we will be discussing improvements we've made to our sawing cycle. Number one, we have defined minimum cut lengths. This will allow you to filter out cuts that don't have a length which is meaningful for your part. In other words, if the saw only comes down and makes a simple one millimeter cut or an eighth of an inch, now you can filter that out so that you can deal with that little portion of your part separately if you choose to do so. This is also very important when interacting with DXF files coming from a third party that are not potentially clean and well joined and have a myriad of tiny little lines. Number two, we've enhanced our interaction with solids so that you can automatically define the cut direction. And this is going to be based on the rotation that you define in the saw. So this gives you even additional productivity when working with solids. So let's review the functionality. So now that we're back inside of AlphaCam, you can see that I have a simple geometry. This geometry has chamfers in the corners. However, the chamfers are small. They're only 2.8 millimeters long. So these may not be entities that I'm interested in machining with my blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my levels and cuts and I'm going to make sure that the minimum length of the cut is a bigger number than the radius of the blade plus the lead. And if I do that, you can see that I only get four cuts. In other words, the sawing has ignored these little tiny pieces. In contrast, if I go back to the exact same parameter and I say 100, then you can see that now we have the additional cuts required for those little pieces. In addition to being able to control the length of the cut, you will be able to control your interaction with solids. You'll be able to define whether you want to make a climb cut, a conventional cut, or bi-directional cut. When you do that, the direction of the cut will be inherited from the rotation of the blade. This blade that you see here has been defined as a right hand or clockwise rotation blade. In contrast, I'm going to change that from a climb cut to a conventional cut, and you should be able to see how the blade now cuts in the opposite direction. Finally, you'll have the ability to do bidirectional cuts. Bidirectional cuts must be enabled by making small steps down to the bottom of the cut. And this is yet again another one of these productivity enhancements that make your life so much better with AlphaCam.